What is going on guys? Dr. D here from the One Hype 2.0 family bringing you a war recap, a friendly war between One Hive Invicta and Emphatic Elite. Uh, this was a really tough war for us, and Victor really struggled here. Um, interestingly, uh, it was the Town Hall 9s that had to, had a real uh, difficult time here, and usually that's our strong suit. Um, I feel like both at 2.0 and in Invicta, we've been struggle struggling a bit at Town Hall 9s. Um, that said, uh, we had... Um, six six packs though uh most of these six packs were on dips so uh tony gino uh jocko valvi and biscuit all had six packs but they were all dip six packs unfortunately uh and those are all town hall 10s town hall 11s um hitting town hall 10s or town hall 9s <coughs> uh the only six pack at town hall 9 was rising savage she put up a, a great war um, she's very, very strong. She's been making about every recap recently. Um, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop right in and have a look at the war statistics. So here are the basic war statistics. Um, you can see uh, we had 19 triples. They had 20 triples. Uh, that doesn't tell the whole story here. Um, we had a lot of dips, a lot of Town Hall 10 on Town Hall 9 dips. Our, our Town Hall 9s really struggled, uh, more so than I think I've ever seen in um, Invicta in the six months or so that I've been uh, part of this uh, part of this group. So uh, a tough war, a tough war. And definitely, I mean, a, a great group, emphatic elite, obviously, um, a very, very good clan. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look at some of the bases here, though. Um, so you can see uh, they were able to triple every single one of our 10s. Oh, nope, uh, they did not triple CBG. Uh, and then, of course, they cleared all of our 9s. Got two stars on all of our 11s. Um, on the other hand, uh, we left an open Town Hall 11, um, two stars on the other 11s, a couple of open Town Hall 10s here, and uh, we cleared all of the 9s, but several of these 9s required a, um, a bully by a Town Hall 10. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's have a look at some of these attacks. I don't usually show um, dip attacks. I'm going to show this one only because it's, it's kind of unique in what he did. Uh, so we're going to zoom in here. This is Tony. He's a Town Hall 11, and he's hitting a Town Hall 10. So uh, drops a minion there to, to pull that um, air mine, and then uses a couple of loons just to pull that CC out. Uh, CC comes out, and he's going to put his heroes up here. Uh, he's going to drop a minion over here. He's going to put another minion over here once this... Um, yeah, there we go. So CC kills that minion, and it's going to start moving to this other minion. He throws his queen out there, who she pops on that uh, dragon pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, he gets one spit of fire off, and then he's done. Unfortunately, the queen is going to wind up um, getting taken out by this king here. Oh, no, she doesn't. She actually survives, because she does take out the enemy queen. Uh, you'll see that this king is going to step up. He drops his king to kind of help out. Um, unfortunately, Queen starts taking a beating. It gets a little bit scary here because it looks like maybe uh, his Queen has popped her ability. She does step up and take out the enemy Queen there, and bam, both of them go at the same time. King's going to start working his way around, and this is where things get interesting. So, drops a clone spell and a hound. So, he's got two hounds in there. Um, Four hounds total, and he brought three hounds, but that clone spell gave him a fourth. Uh, clone spell just popped right there. The clone, the cloned hound just popped right there, um, and just as it did, it ran out of uh, energy, uh, ran uh, ran out of time. They're 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 time limited. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I don't know. I think that there's no. That's right. There's a couple of. If you look, there were just a couple of pups that were still straggling in there. Um, anyway, uh, just, you know, overwhelming this base. He's got two hounds that never did pop. So, uh, really, <laughs> really overpowered attack. And, of course, it's a bully attack. We understand that. But uh, that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Tony. All right. Well, let's move on and let's check out a couple of Town Hall 9s. Um, we have uh, number 13, was hit by Chad Fowler, and so Chad's moved his 10 up to uh, 2.0. I've said this in the past. He, he was a very consistent Town Hall 9 at 2.0. He's a war general here in Invicta now with his Town Hall 9. So he starts by setting a funnel here with some baby dragons. 
Um, kind of hoping, I think, to, to set the funnel and maybe get a couple of licks in on this queen. Um, throws a, a um, wall breakers in there. Now, unfortunately, wall breaker failed because the queen and these point defenses all zero in on those wall breakers. Unfortunately, the king was not there in time. Uh, but it doesn't matter. King busts through. Has to pop the ability there. Um, probably would have liked to pop the ability right here to get to this uh, air defense. Um, in the end, it's not going to matter. So Queen is working her way down here, and you're going to see just a mass of loons coming in here. Here they come. I guess it's not a huge mass of loons. It looked like more loons than that the first time I watched this. Um, so loons are working their way in, working over towards this air defense, and now he's got another hound coming at this air defense. Um, one hound pops. He's still got uh, one hound in the bag um, in that in the CC, and he's going to send it in right now. It's moving up here. Uh, two loons still sitting there, and he's going to use those loons as he gets closer to the final um, air defense over here. Uh, so notice loons are just kind of circling circling their way around. Uh, drops those two loons right there, take out that Tesla, and that's it. Hounds are gone, and it's nothing but loons. But fortunately, um, his hounds served as really, really good tanks for all of the all of the air bombs and, and all of the air targeting defenses. And all that's left is that air defense, takes it out. He's got probably ten loons left there. Uh, lots of pups out there doing work. It is has not popped the queen's ability yet. Had a couple of cleanup troops, and it is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Chad. It's finally swags that queen's ability. All right. Let's have a look at Nalia. Uh, again, I have not found out how to pronounce this guy's name. I think last video I said I thought this might be um, a, a mini of somebody's. It's not. This is a, this is a new member of Invicta. Um, I think I thought it was Heartless as Mini, but it's not. Uh, so, um, Loon over here, Loon over here to try and take out or to, to knock out these defenses to prevent the um, prevent the golems from targeting those defenses. As soon as it goes down, uh, three golems are down. So this is, uh, as we call, the stoned hobo. And we are off. So we're going to set a very, very nice funnel. Here's a great funnel. Um, sends in a test wall breaker from way back. Obviously it works. Here comes some more wall breakers. And he is good to, good to go. So, um, got a nice opening there. Uh, a little bit of trailing off, but they're going to turn around and they're going to come back in. Uh, poison is down. Rage is now down. Uh, he, he hit the corner with this jump spell. I don't know that I would have got that corner. It pulls all of these um, golems and pulls the bowlers away from this center core where they would have moved forward and taken out this expo. It uh, doesn't matter. He's got two heal spells in the bag and a whole bunch of hogs here. So um, all of his hogs are, are, are up right now. Uh, makes them very vulnerable to spring traps. Fortunately, uh, the, the expo is focused there on that Golemite, gets a heal down, and at this point it is GG. Um, just got two point defenses left that he's got to take out, and one is focused on the queen. Um, that is going to be it. We will speed this up just a little bit here, and it is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Nalia. Nalia? I don't know. Swag poison. Okay, um, let's move down to number 20, Big Tex. This is a really, really cool attack. I know I already showed one quad attack, but I'm going to show another one here. Um, notice he went to drop a, uh, an archer and didn't... Uh, there, was a, uh, there was a troll Tesla there. So he zap quakes one air defense right in the center, and he's going with only three healers here. Probably could have dropped the poison here and not spent the queen's ability. Uh, does wind up spending the queen's ability. Lucky that the troops that were in the CC were not uh, a bunch of um, gobs or or a witch that's spawning skeletons. Um, 
because that uh, that baby dragon went straight for those healers. Anyway, uh, queen is in. Um, king is taking care of the enemy king, and she's going to finish up there. There we go. Enemy queen is now gone. CC is cleared. Uh, this becomes an air attack at this point. So here comes the first hound coming in right down here. Second hound is coming in right behind it. Notice that his spells for the air portion are only a uh, couple of hastes and one heal. He's gonna, the plan was to use that heal over a Tesla field if farm if he needed to. Um, takes out that air defense there. Uh, moves to these other, these last two final air defenses around the outside. And so people have been putting air defenses along the outside trying to prevent um, these attacks from, these, these air attacks uh, from, from hitting the center of the base. And they can be pretty effective actually if you can't get your loons to work in a circle around the outside of the base if they start moving to the inside. Uh, zap quaking this air defense actually was a really smart move. It, it removes the pathing towards the center of the base and keeps things moving around the outside. Uh, at this point, he's got a hound up and that expo is focusing on it. Uh, one defense left. Obviously, this is three stars in the bag. Nice job, Big Tex. <laughs> and get that thing that he started trying to get at the very beginning, that builder's hut. All right. Uh, we're just going to watch one more, doing kind of a short recap today. Uh, Rising Savage, she had herself a six-pack this war. Um, this is a stoned hobo. She used a stoned hobo for both of these. I just love her patience when it comes to this. Um, so I know that I already showed one stone hobo, and I also showed a, a quad, but to be honest, uh, that was kind of this, the selection of attacks here today. So um, starts by setting her funnel here. Uh, very nice funnel. Three golems. Wall breakers are in and BK, and here comes the bowlers. Um, notice how patient she is with all of her spells here. Um, bowlers get a rage as they get up here close to where they're going to jump in, but still no real um, heavy-duty spells being used. Here comes the rage now with the CC coming out, and a poison goes down on the CC. And we're going to zoom out just a little bit so that we can see these hogs as they come pouring in. So Queen is in. King and this wizard, actually, are going to take out uh, both of these expos, I believe. Um, oh, the, the uh, bowlers wind up jumping in. And so here she comes with her hogs. Very kind of calculated. She, she put in, what was there, nine hogs to start with there. Um, just moving along. Of course, she's hitting <laughs> every possible uh, giant bomb out there. Um, I love how she brings these hogs in. She saved three hogs for every one of those Teslas. Just bam, 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 bam. Teslas are gone. She's still got a heal in the bag. Unfortunately, we know that all of these defenses are going to have, yep, spring traps in between them. And that's exactly what we see. Heal comes down, loses a bunch of hogs right here. Fortunately, still has three hogs in the bag. Uh, two hogs just beating away on that final air defense. Um, that's it. She's going to throw down the rest of those hogs to help clean up. Swag queen ability, beautiful attack. Just nicely, nicely done. Uh, tree stars in the bag. Great job, Rising Savage. All right. Uh, so again, uh, here's the basic war statistics. Um, props to Emphatic Elite. Uh, we all know that they're they're a great clan, and uh, they they gave Invicta a run for the money here. Um, that is it from me. This is Doctor D from One Hive Invicta. Clash on.